guys. It's Korean Miho. We're gonna bring you guys some more Wi-Fi action, and of course, um, what was the name of this tournament? Uh, Crisis Core. Okay, Crisis Core. Okay, mm -hmm. so we gotta have Cloud, right? We have to. Have oh wait, we have to. We gotta hit the quota. At, at least one per block. And Cloud's actually. Uh, I mean, he was godlike on the stage in Smash Four, but he's also godlike on stage as well. I mean, I feel like any character would fit up here. Just fit on the stage. Yeah, I mean, Joker's not too shabby on this stage as well. I mean, they both can really just take advantage of the triplats and really make it difficult for you to try to land down. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, well, right now, I mean, a little, a little slow. It's like uh, I'm baby having a little trouble tacking on the damage of the outer shield. Yep, you got to be really careful how you touch that cloud. But our stand is online. Big Burrow coming through. The dash attack has him out. There go the guns. Limit is online, so he's gonna be completely all right. Just jumping right over I'm Baby, but again, the climb hazard coming through from Meps here. Stop touching my shield. The up he's racked up so much damage. He's gonna have the charge on the up smash. Um, up smash is something that got buffed uh, right before this tournament. Or I mean, uh, like a month back or so. Yeah. Hmm. Just a single climb hazard, not using the downward motion to try to hit the ledge. But he was facing backwards, so I kind of see. Maybe he wanted to go the opposite direction, but nonetheless, trying to make his way back to stage. Arsene online for I'm Baby, but can he take advantage of the extra power? Ooh, that was such a good neutral B, but the charge and the read on the normal getup with the Arsene as well, the forward smash is obliterated. <laughs> right on cue, another climb hazard immediately uh, from Mepsir. And good stuff. Arsene is gone, but finally a back throw coming up from my ba I'm baby. <laughs> so earlier, he, he definitely could have got a back throw in a different situation uh, on the opposite side of the ledge, but he opted for an F tilt instead. But mm. finally, he's going for these possible gimps. Yeah, he went with the up gun a little earlier. I, I feel like down gun is definitely uh, what Cloud is scared of the most. Uh, he Cloud does have a little bit more options recovery high in this game um, with direction air dodge mix up. Okay, the limit is gonna get expelled there. Not gonna get too much out of it. Tries to go for the upbeat, but no punish for my baby. But the Arsene's about to come in for round two here for the second stock. Yeah, I got a whole lot of rage behind him too. So a couple of good hits will go ahead and get I'm baby stock, but I'm baby almost dying off of a single down tilt at that. Yeah, he's got Arsene. Get this edge guard possibly. Ooh, okay, has a double jump, able to get back safely. And Kenny, pretty much time out the rest of this Arsene. Looking for a big hit here, and yeah, the upbeat's gonna do it. Yeah, and then the up air pressure. Who and that that could have gone either way. <laughs> that, that's the scary part about that sock, just because my baby had so much rage. And then, you know, paired with the Arsene. Oh, there go the down guns and they're enough. Yep. Yep. The down guns are gonna be so good against Cloud. You essentially are forced to directional air dodge to the ledge. And when you're forced to do something, that's when it becomes a lot easier to read. And you know what I mean? So Yeah, and when but you do finally connect the guns, you just get pushed out just enough, especially for Cloud, since he doesn't really have much horizontal recovery on that up B. Yeah. Ooh, the up smash, maybe an up tilt would have been just quick enough, but the Arsen has been popped here, and he's attacking on quite a bit of damage, draining this Arsen meter, but the counter sends him off stage here. There's that directional air dodge. Oh, I see wow. exactly what I'm Baby was going for. He thought the climb hazard was going to come just to immediately snap, but right, because right. of that, he put himself in such a terrible spot and ate that cross slash off of the jump get up yeah and i mean it's like i feel like in those particular situations the, cl the clouds usually get pretty greedy so they're gonna try and pick an option where they don't you know use the limit um but i'm baby right there betting on i guess like the safe recovery option you know could have just gone for the up b or double jump up b snap there mm -hmm. uh, but nonetheless really good stop from that gonna um steal that game number one out Maybe we're gonna get a counter pick here for my baby. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have to go back to like switch the stages, right? Yeah, Probably. yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I feel like it's just gonna be a stage switch, if anything. I don't think battlefield, uh, well, not battlefield, but I don't think be the gameplay between one another was really too drastic for to to warrant a switch of characters. But hey, this is Wi-Fi. Maybe he wants to go ahead and pick something that's a little harder, you know, a little easier on the hands. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud is definitely a little easier on the hands. That's <laughs> but yeah, uh, maybe just a stage switch up here. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like Battlefield. Oh, oh, oh no, we, we got the trainer. Okay, okay. I feel like Battlefield and Final will probably be like more common 
in this Wi-Fi term because most people that play Wi-Fi, if you're playing Elite Smash, like most of the time you're playing on Battlefield. Yeah, right on cue, you're going back to Battlefield. <laughs> Running it back. Oh, the directional air. To oh, oh, did you did you not want to play trainer? Is that what's happening? Oh. You know what? I feel like he just didn't pick the stage. Or, you know it would be funny if you like did the directional air dodge off stage and he was like, you know what, I could just play this. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like, look, I just, I just, I just screwed up. <laughs> I'ma just run with it. No one knows. I'm in, I'm in the sanctity of my own home. I actually didn't want to go trainer. <laughs> you see? <laughs> All right, so hey, look, we'll tra trainer didn't look like he didn't even want to be there. Look at that blank. Because maybe he changed his stage, but I think both players have to switch the stages if you want it to be like a hundred percent. I'm not I'm not too sure. Maybe it's the stage thing. Maybe it's yeah. the character. Well, thing. well, how how it works is that one person needs to actually pick the stage. The other can just hit random, and so when they hit random, it oh, just, and it it just goes over to whoever actually picked the stage. Wow, you got the Wi-Fi chops, huh? Bro, I just ran a Wi-Fi <laughs> tournament on Tuesday. <laughs> Damn, all right. All right. Learning a thing or two about Wi-Fi. Yo, all right, so well, the only thing you got to learn is don't touch it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so it was a stage. So we're going to be on Smashville here. Mm -hmm. Of course, hazardless. All right, and uh, the trainer here. Oh, he tried to shield. Now, you, what you want to do in that situation, you shield as the cloud's going up, and then you dash back so you get behind him, and then just would punish him. Because there's no hitbox behind him. Yeah, and you can see I'm baby attempted to go ahead and do that, but he only got the, the walk out of that instead. Yeah. So he ended up getting clipped at the tail end of it, but he's now sitting at 78. Oh my god, 91 after a couple more of these hits. Limit oh, is on no the line. Oh, he had the directional air dodge there. That was a guaranteed cross slide. He just didn't go fast enough. And wow, that was that would have been a really big KO here. But I mean, we've seen everything get turned around. <laughs> just like that. Ivysaur and. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's hurt because he missed that punish off stage, man. That directional air dodge returning to stage is very very like you got to go out there and punish it. Oh man, Th this is literally like 180. It went from map just totally commanding the first stock into like now potentially can lose his second stock here off stage situation on the ledge here against Ivysaur. Yeah, I mean, momentum swings are a real thing, oh. whether it be regular sports, whether it be fighting games, anything. When you get the ball rolling, it can keep rolling and possibly stuff like this is going to happen. Yeah, it's it's brutal, man. Oh, the grab. Nope. Going to jump right over and see if Map can get this KO onto the Ivysaur right now. He did such a great job on the Swirtle. Finally gets the F-Tilt center stage to close it out. I mean, we're going to stick it out with the Zard here. Mm -hmm. Let's put up the fire. Where's he going? Oh, gets the. Oh, he didn't, didn't punch quick enough there. Cross slash, big damage here. I'm actually surprised he just didn't go for another flamethrower. Yeah, flamethrower or down smash. I mean, Charizard was notorious for being able to edge guard Cloud in Smash 4 with down smash and uh, neutral V. Yeah, it was Anti's favorite counter pick, I remember. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, yeah, see, like you force them to up B early right there, and then you can just down smash them on the way down. Because they have to like hit through the stuff, but <laughs> the okay. Blair Blitz coming in raw at a disadvantage here. The quick swap to Squirtle. Oh my goodness, and the, tur the turtle taking I think about 21% there immediately, sitting at 110. A uh, big hit from Cloud will actually just take this one away. Squirtle is a lightweight, but he's racking up a lot of percent off these down throw combos. Yeah, this is this is when you're a trainer player and it's like, okay, do I have faith in my Squirtle? You know, sitting at like 90 to 110, but you want that damage, right? Okay, but Ivysaur, um, that weight switch doing him wonders here, Stay, staying alive. The limit's online here for the ledge trap. You got 15 seconds, man. Just just chill it out. Just chill yeah. it out. Oh. Oh, nope, but there we have it. Blade Beam going through the Razor Leaf. Yeah, Transcendent Projectile with that limit. Oh, yeah, tried to get out of that situation. And wow, the... Oh, okay, he... Was able to up in time. Some people kind of fall asleep on the wheel there. Oh man, another up B kind of bailing him out of that situation. Okay, and yeah, this is you do not want to be under under cloud ever. <laughs> up till oh, that's a pretty oh, fun. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Okay, he went back to stage. He went back to stage. Bro, if he read the switch and he got the cross slash, I think just because he was like off stage, close to the edge here, yeah. and Map doing a really good job of bringing this one back. Uh, even considering like what happened to him that first stock. Ooh, okay, the stall. Oh, but he 
hit it too early. Maybe thought uh, I maybe was gonna get a little aggressive there, so he kind of like threw out the early up B. Well, he also didn't even do the downwards hit because since he was facing the stage, he would have snapped regardless. Right. So I, right. I, I think he was just expecting maybe a F tilt or a forward smash or you know some type of hit to interrupt the climb hazard. But hey, nonetheless, only doing the first hit and it is a free punish for on baby to get himself on the board. Yeah. So now I'm baby. I'm assuming he's just gonna stick out with the trainer because he got the stock. But it's like, like you got it. But, like, what happened that first talk was, uh, you know, like, are, are you going to bank on something like that happening again, right? Yeah, but, you know, I'm Baby, you know, it's taking complete advantage of that first Cloud Stock going away immediately. And then, you know what? He just stayed true to his guns. I mean, there were a few opportunities that were there for Mepsir to go ahead and capitalize on, but he just didn't react to a couple of things. Because when you go against a trainer, there's three separate characters you need to know each of their properties for, whether it be lag, whether it be how safe they're going to be on shield, etc. So when you get thrown off by one of those moves, you're like, oh, crap. Well, this is something I got to note down moving forward at this set. Right. Now, ooh, we might be getting character switches from both players. It, I mean, it's very possible. Maybe I baby's going to have three different characters. Yeah. Depends maybe, on he, maybe he's just doing a random challenge where he has to go through different character each game, but that is not the case. It's sticking out with the trainer in the cloud one more time. Yeah, I don't think Map has the switch. What happened to him stock one was very unfort and like like I said, you gotta be able to seal out those stocks off stage, especially like Cloud, even though you know he has not the greatest recovery, he can still edge guard very well. Uh Nair is not as big as it used to be, but you still especially with limit, like just run off cross slash is always gonna be a threat. Okay, but I'm baby going in there immediately. 66%, 74 unanswered now. Yeah, Squirrel is uh, tough to hit. Very uh, short. You have to do a lot of things that are low to the ground. F fortunately for uh, Cloud, you know, cross last hits low, up B hits low. Uh, are you catching up in percentage here? And I'm baby looks like he's trying to stick it out with the Squirtle. And man, if that forward smash was not a message, I don't know what is. Yeah, what are these side Bs coming out? That was a full range side B for one of the easiest punishes I've seen uh, throughout the tournament so far. The limit is online though. Oh, okay, just gonna hop right on over with the safe back here. And this time we're going for the cross slash off stage and punish the air dodge, which I mean that one that time it wasn't a directional air dodge, but still nonetheless it was a very, very clean punish. Yeah, I mean, he was already running up in there just to get position uh, for the ledge trap, and then he he saw the air dodge and was like, all right, cool, I'm just going to punish you for this. Oh, no, up B, okay. Up B on the spot dodge there, a little late, but still getting to punish the double neutral air. Okay, maybe Mep getting a little feisty here. Yeah, that was a great delay, too. Getting away from the down smash that's sent from I'm Baby, and then clipping him with the climb hazard. Speaking of climb hazard, another one coming out. And baby in the air has to deal with the limit. I like that from Mepsir, trying to go ahead and cover the ground instead. Look for an air dodge. Oh, but the back air, it's such a huge move. Gonna cover all that area. And I'm baby finally gonna close out this first stock here. But Mep's been doing a really good job of just having very solid up bees out of shield and just using even like the blade beam, the neutral, like the regular blade beam. We've seen it like interrupt the. Uh, uh, oh, we saw the, yeah, we saw it, yeah, interrupted Flare Blitz a couple like of times. Multiple times, yeah. So, really good stuff here. But the Ivysaur Edge Guards is what you really have to watch out for, even at, like, at pretty much any percent it can happen, right? So, because we, I mean, we've seen that game number two just die at, like, you know, sub 20%. But, gonna close out the Ivysaur stock here, gonna force the switch onto Charizard, and, you know, now with an entire stock lead, this is looking like how game two should have been if you didn't get that clutch uh, Ivysaur Edge Guard. Uh, give me that quick 32 off limit cross slash 47 off the climb hazard as well. I'm baby trying to get an answer, but each time he is just trying to extend and corner Mepsir. Mepsir with the climb hazard immediately telling him to get off of me. And Mepsir is just running away with this game right now. Yeah, Mep just, in a lot of these situations too, uh, Mep just knows exactly after when I baby swings or hits him shield, he'll either just up the out of shield or know when. Um, I'm Baby is going for a spot dodge, and he just has it covered. Yep. 
And, look and at even, when he, even when he's touching the shield, he's either putting his shield up immediately after a very nicely spaced backer, or tossing in an F tilt, expecting some type of grab or anything. And you cannot chill on the ledge for that long, my guy. Even if I'm center stage, if I got the limit on deck, the threat is there. And uh, Cloud, uh, really good stuff from Matt Pierre, gonna be moving on this bracket. Crisis.